Dominica. Coordinates 15 deck 2500 N61 deck 20 W 15.41667 DEGN 61.33333 DEG W 15.41667 Dominica slash Damni K at slash Domine K at French Dominique Kalina Carib Way to Kibuli Officially the Commonwealth of Dominica, is an island nation in the Lesser Antilles region of the Caribbean Sea, south-southeast of Guadeloupe and northwest of Martinique. Its size is 750 square kilometers, 290 square miles, and the highest point in the country is Monde Ablotins, which has an elevation of 1,447 meters, 4,747 feet. The Commonwealth of Dominica had a population of 71,293 at the 2011 census. The capital is Roseau which is located on the leeward side of the island. Dominica has been nicknamed the Nature Isle of the Caribbean for its unspoiled natural beauty. It is the youngest island in the Lesser Antilles, still being formed by geothermal volcanic activity, as evidenced by the world's second largest hot spring, Boiling Lake. The island features lush mountainous rainforests, home of many rare plant, animal, and bird species. There are xeric areas in some of the western coastal regions, but heavy rainfall can be expected inland. Dominica is the only country in the world with a count of 365 rivers. The Cicero parrot, also known as the Imperial Amazon, is found only on the Caribbean island of Dominica and is the island's national bird. It is featured on the national flag. Dominica's economy is heavily dependent on both tourism and agriculture. Christopher Columbus named the island after the day of the week on which he spotted it, a Sunday, Dominica in Latin, November 3, 1493. In the hundred years after Columbus's landing, Dominica remained isolated. More Caribs settled there after being driven from surrounding islands, as European powers entered the region. France had a colony for several years, importing African slaves to work on its plantations. In this period, the Antillean Creole language developed. France formally ceded possession of Dominica to Great Britain in 1763. Great Britain established a small colony on the island in 1805. Britain emancipated slaves throughout the British Empire in 1834. By 1838, Dominica became the first British Caribbean colony to have a legislature controlled by an ethnic African majority. In 1896, the United Kingdom took governmental control of Dominica, turning it into a crown colony. Half a century later, from 1958 to 1962, Dominica became a province of the short-lived West Indies Federation. On November 3, 1978, Dominica became an independent nation. Etymology and languages The name Dominica comes from the Latin word for Sunday, which was the day on which it was spotted by Christopher Columbus. Its pre-Columbian name by the Caribs was Waita Kibuli, which means tall is her body. The indigenous people of the island were the Caribs. The island became multi-ethnic due to European colonization, which included the importation of numerous African slaves. The French had the longest influence prior to ceding the island to the British in 1763 after losing the Seven Years' War. An Antillean Creole, based on the French language, West African and Carib influences, is still spoken by many residents, especially people of older generations. Today the Carib have some reserved land, known as the Carib Territory, an area similar to the Indian reserves of Canada or the US. The official language is English. Following the island's history since the late 18th century as a British colony, territory, and state. The demonym or adjective is Dominican in English. It is pronounced with a syllable stress being on the second I, serving to distinguish it from same word used in reference to Dominican Republic, in which case the stress is on the first I. History Early European Contacts in 1635, France claimed Dominica along with all the other Petite Antilles but did not attempt settlement. 
Between 1642 and 1650 a French missionary Raymond Breton became the first regular European visitor to the island. In 1660 the French and English agreed that both Dominica and St. Vincent should not be settled, but left to the Caribs as neutral territory. Dominica was officially neutral for the next century. Its natural resources attracted rival expeditions of English and French foresters, who began harvesting timber by the start of the 18th century. French Colony In 1715, the French established their first permanent settlements in Dominica. With the revolt of poor white smallholders in the north of Martinique, known as La Gaulle, many migrated to southern Dominica. In 1727 the first French commander, M. Le Grand, took charge of the island with a basic French government. Dominica formally became a colony of France, and the island was divided into districts or quarters. Already installed in Martinique and Guadeloupe and cultivating sugar cane, the French gradually developed plantations in Dominica for coffee. They imported African slaves to fill the labor demands. After France was defeated by Britain in the Seven Years' War, it ceded the island to the British under the Treaty of Paris, 1763. In 1778, during the American Revolutionary War, the French mounted a successful invasion with the active cooperation of the population. The 1783 Treaty of Paris, which ended the war, returned the island to Britain. French invasions in 1795 and 1805 ended in failure. British Colony In 1763, the British established a legislative assembly, representing only the white population. In 1831, reflecting a liberalization of official British racial attitudes, the Brown Privilege Bill conferred political and social rights on free blacks, or people of color. Britain abolished slavery in Dominica and the rest of his empire in 1834. The next year, three men of African descent were elected to the Legislative Assembly. In 1838, Dominica became the only British Caribbean colony to have a legislature with a majority of ethnic African members. Most were of mixed race and had ancestors free before abolition. Slaves escaped to Dominica from the neighboring islands of Martinique and Guadeloupe, where the French colonies still maintained it. They used makeshift boats, trying to find refuge in Dominica. Most ethnic African legislators were smallholders or merchants, who held economic and social views diametrically opposed to the interests of the small, wealthy English planter class. Reacting to a perceived threat to their power, the planters lobbied for more direct British rule. In 1865, after much agitation and tension, the colonial office replaced the elective assembly with one that had one half of members who were elected and one half who were appointed. Planters allied with colonial administrators outmaneuvered the elected legislators on numerous occasions. In 1871, Dominica became part of the Leeward Island Federation. The power of the ethnic African population progressively eroded. Crown Colony government was re-established in 1896. All political rights for the vast majority of the population were effectively curtailed. Development aid offered as compensation for disfranchisement, proved to have a negligible effect in improving conditions for most ethnic Africans. History post-1900 Following World War I, an upsurge of political consciousness throughout the Caribbean led to the formation of the Representative Government Association. Marshalling public frustration with the lack of a voice in the governing of Dominica, this group won one-third of the popularly elected seats of the Legislative Assembly in 1924 and one-half in 1936. Shortly thereafter, Dominica was transferred from the Leeward Island administration. It was governed as part of the Windwoods until 1958, when it joined the short-lived West Indies Federation. After the Federation dissolved, Dominica became an associated state of the United Kingdom in 1967 and formally took responsibility for its internal affairs. On November 3, 1978, the Commonwealth of Dominica was granted independence by the United Kingdom. In mid-1979, political discontent led to the formation of an interim government. 
it was replaced after the 1980 elections by a government led by the Dominica Freedom Party under Prime Minister Eugenia Charles, the Caribbean's first female Prime Minister. Chronic economic problems were compounded by the severe impact of hurricanes in 1979 and in 1980. In 1981, Dominica was threatened with a takeover by mercenaries led by Mike Perdue of Houston and Wolfgang Druge of Toronto, who tried to overthrow the government of Eugenia Charles. The North America Mercenary Group was to aid ex-Prime Minister Patrick John and his Dominica Defence Force in regaining control of the island in exchange for control over the island's future development. The entire plan failed. The ship hired to transport the men of Operation Red Dog never left the dock, as the United States FBI was tipped off. The self-titled mercenaries lacked any formal military experience or training, and the majority of the crew had been misled into joining the armed coup by Mike Perdue, considered a conman ringleader. White nationalist Don Black was also jailed for his part in the attempt, which violated U.S. neutrality laws. By the end of the 1980s, the economy recovered. It weakened again in the 1990s because of a decrease in banana prices and worldwide recession. In the January 2000 elections, the Edison James United Workers' Party, UWP, was defeated by the Dominican Labour Party, DLP, led by Roosevelt P. Rosie Douglas. Douglas died after only a few months in office and was replaced by Pierre Charles, who died in office in January 2004. Roosevelt Skerritt also of the DLP, replaced Charles as Prime Minister. Under Prime Minister Skerritt's leadership, the DLP won elections in May 2005 that gave the party 12 seats in the 21-member parliament to the UWP's eight seats. An independent candidate affiliated with the DLP won a seat as well. Later, the independent candidate joined the government and one UWP member crossed the aisle, making the total 14 seats for the DLP and 7 for the UWP. The DLP won a crashing victory in elections in December 2009, winning 18 of 21 seats. The UWP claimed campaign improprieties and boycotted Parliament. By elections were conducted for two of its seats in July 2010, and the UWP once again won the seats. On September 17, 2012 Eliard Ford Deus Williams was sworn in as president, replacing Dr. Nicholas Liverpool who was reportedly removed from office due to ill health. Geography and Climate Dominica is an island nation and borderless country in the Caribbean Sea, the northernmost of the Windward Islands, though it is sometimes considered the southernmost of the Leeward Islands. The size of the country is about 289.5 square miles, 750 kilometers too. The capital is Roseau. Dominica is largely covered by rainforest and is home to the world's second largest hot spring, Boiling Lake. Dominica has many waterfalls, springs, and rivers. The Calibishi area in the country's northeast has sandy beaches. Some plants and animals thought to be extinct on surrounding islands can still be found in Dominica's forests. The volcanic nature of the island has attracted scuba divers. The island has several protected areas, including Cabrits National Park, as well as 365 rivers. On his second voyage to the Caribbean, Dominica was the first New World country that Christopher Columbus discovered. It is said that when his royal sponsors asked Christopher Columbus to describe this island, he crumpled a piece of parchment roughly and threw it on the table. This, Columbus explained, is what Dominica looks like, completely covered with mountains with nary a flat spot. Montreux Pitons National Park is a tropical forest blended with scenic volcanic features. It was recognized as a World Heritage Site on April 4, 1995 a distinction it shares with four other Caribbean islands. The Commonwealth of Dominica is engaged in a long-running dispute with Venezuela over Venezuela's territorial claims to the sea surrounding Isla Aves, literally Bird Island, but in fact called Bird Rock by Dominica authorities, a tiny islet located 140 miles, 225 kilometers, west of the island of Dominica. There are two primary population centers, Roseau, with 14,725 inhabitants in 2011, and Portsmouth, 
with 4,167 inhabitants in 2011. Dominica, known as the nature island of the Caribbean due to its spectacular, lush, and varied flora and fauna, which are protected by an extensive natural park system. The most mountainous of the Lesser Antilles, its volcanic peaks are cones of lava craters and include Boiling Lake, the second largest, thermally active lake in the world possesses the most pristine wilderness in the Caribbean. Originally, it was protected by sheer mountains which led the European powers to build ports and agricultural settlements on other islands. More recently, the citizens of this island have sought to preserve its spectacular natural beauty by discouraging the type of high-impact tourism which has damaged nature in most of the Caribbean. Visitors can find large tropical forests, including one which is on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites, hundreds of streams, coastlines and coral reefs. The Cicerone parrot, Amazon imperialis, is Dominica's national bird and is endemic to its mountain forests. A related species, the Jacko or red-necked parrot, Araziaca, is also a Dominican endemic. Both birds are rare and protected nowadays, though some forest is still threatened by logging in addition to the long-standing threat of hurricanes. The Caribbean Sea offshore of the island of Dominica is home to many cetaceans. Most notably a group of sperm whales live in this area year-round. Other cetaceans commonly seen in the area include spinner dolphins, pantropical spotted dolphins and bottle-nosed dolphins. Less commonly seen animals include killer whales, false killer whales, pygmy sperm whales, dwarf sperm whales, rissos dolphins, common dolphins, Atlantic spotted dolphins, humpback whales and bride's whales. This makes Dominica a destination for tourists interested in whale watching. Dominica is especially vulnerable to hurricanes as the island is located in what is referred to as the Hurricane Region. In 1979, Dominica was hit directly by Category 5 Hurricane David, causing widespread and extreme damage. On August 17, 2007, Hurricane Dean, a Category 1 at the time, hit the island. A mother and her seven-year-old son died when a landslide caused by the heavy rains crushed their house. In another incident two people were injured when a tree fell on their house. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt estimated that 100 to 125 homes were damaged, and that the agricultural sector was extensively damaged, in particular the banana crop. Government and Administrative Divisions Dominica is a parliamentary democracy within the Commonwealth of Nations and, since 1979, a member of La Francophonie. The Commonwealth of Dominica is one of the Caribbean's few republics. The president is the head of state, while executive power rests with the cabinet, headed by the prime minister. The unicameral parliament consists of the 30-member House of Assembly, which consists of 21 directly elected members and nine senators, who may either be appointed by the president or elected by the other members of the House of Assembly. Unlike other former British colonies in the region, Dominica was never a Commonwealth realm, instead becoming a republic on independence. Dominica is a full and participating member of the Caribbean Community, CARICOM, and the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS. Dominica is also a member of the International Criminal Court with a bilateral immunity agreement of protection for the U.S. military, as covered under Article 98. In January 2008 Dominica joined the Bolivarian Alternative for the Americas. Dominica is divided into 10 parishes, given below with their 2011 census populations. Economy In 2008, Dominica had one of the lowest per capita gross domestic product GDP, rates of Eastern Caribbean states. The country nearly had a financial crisis in 2003 and 2004. But Dominica's economy grew by 3.5% in 2005 and 4.0% in 2006, following a decade of poor performance. Growth in 2006 was attributed to gains in tourism, construction, offshore and other services, and some subsectors of the banana industry. The International Monetary Fund IMF, recently praised the government of Dominica for its successful macroeconomic reforms. The IMF also pointed out remaining challenges, 
including the need for further reductions in public debt, increased financial sector regulation, and market diversification. Bananas and other agriculture dominate Dominica's economy, and nearly one-third of the labor force works in agriculture. This sector, however, is highly vulnerable to weather conditions and to external events affecting commodity prices. In 2007, Hurricane Dean caused significant damage to the agricultural sector as well as the country's infrastructure, especially roads. In response to reduced European Union EU, banana trade preferences, the government has diversified the agricultural sector by promoting the production of coffee, patchouli, aloe vera, cut flowers, and exotic fruits such as mango, guava, and papaya. Dominica has also had some success in increasing its manufactured exports, primarily soap. Dominica is mostly volcanic and has few beaches. Therefore, tourism has developed more slowly than on neighboring islands. Nevertheless, Dominica's mountains, rainforests, freshwater lakes, hot springs, waterfalls, and diving spots make it an attractive ecotourism destination. Cruise ship stopovers have increased following the development of modern docking and waterfront facilities in Roseau, the capital. Out of 22 Caribbean islands tracked, Dominica had the fewest visitors in 2008, 55,800 or 0.3% of the total. This was about half as many as visited Haiti. Dominica's currency is the East Caribbean dollar. Dominica is a beneficiary of the Caribbean Basin Initiative. CBI, that grants duty-free entry into the United States for many goods. Dominica also belongs to the predominantly English-speaking Caribbean community, CARICOM, the CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, and the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS. Dominica supposedly offers tax-free status to companies locating from abroad. It is not known how many companies benefit from the tax-free status because of the strict confidentiality the government enforces, although it is known many Internet businesses utilize Dominica for this reason. However, on July 12, 2012 Dominica signed an agreement with Poland to exchange tax information. The Commonwealth of Dominica offers an official and legally mandated economic citizenship to those seeking a valid second passport. The nationality law of Dominica authorizes the government to waive the normal requirement of seven years of legal residence to acquire citizenship in exchange for a cash contribution. Total costs including all fees for a single applicant come to about $105,000, with an additional $25,000 specified for a spouse and up to two children under 18. The Dominican passport holders can travel without a visa, or obtain a visa upon entry to nearly 90 countries and territories. Applying for Dominica citizenship requires interacting with official government-approved economic citizenship agents. Infrastructure Air There are two small airports on the island. The primary airport, Melville Hall Airport, DOM, is on the northeast coast and is about a 45-minute drive from Portsmouth. The second is Cane Field Airport, DCF, about 15 minutes from Roseau on the southwest coast. Melville Hall Airport is suitable for limited use of commercial jets because of runway length. Melville Hall currently has regular service by BVI Airways, Inga, Seaborn Airlines and LIAT using twin turboprop aircraft like the de Havilland Dash 8, as well as Conviasa and Amarijet, which, using Boeing 727 freighters, is the only airline with jet service to the Republic. A runway extension and service upgrade project began at Melville Hall around 2006 and was finished in 2010. In March 2013, airline American Eagle halted flights to the island citing high labor costs. Roads The only major highway on the island is the road between Portsmouth and Roseau. It takes about one hour to drive from Portsmouth to Roseau. Private minibuses form the major public transport system. However, this highway was under major reconstruction via help from the Chinese and was completed in April 2012. The other roads on the island are generally in deplorable condition. Patchworks are done now and then. Demographics 
the vast majority of Dominicans are of African descent. There is a significant mixed population, along with Indo-Caribbean or East Indian groups, a small European origin minority, descendants of French, British, and Irish colonists, and there are small numbers of Lebanese, Syrians and Asians. Dominica is also the only Eastern Caribbean island that still has a population of pre-Columbian native Caribs, who were exterminated or driven from neighboring islands. There are only about 3,000 Caribs remaining. They live in eight villages on the east coast of Dominica. This special Carib territory was granted by the British Crown in 1903. There are also about 1,000 medical students from the United States and Canada who study at the Ross University School of Medicine in Portsmouth. The population growth rate of Dominica is very low, due primarily to emigration to other countries. In the early 21st century, emigrant numbers for the most popular countries are as follows, the United States, 8,560, the United Kingdom, 6,739, Canada, 605, and France, 394. It has recently been noted that Dominica has a relatively large number of centenarians. As of March 2007, there are 22 centenarians out of the island's 70,000 inhabitants, three times the average incidence of centenarianism in developed countries. The reasons for this are the subject of current research being undertaken at Ross University School of Medicine. At the beginning of the 20th century the Roses Company, which produced Roses Lime Juice, saw demand for its product outgrow its ability to supply the product from Montserrat. Their response to the situation was to buy land on Dominica and encourage Montserrat farm laborers to relocate. As a result there came to be two linguistic communities in Dominica. Over time there has been much intermarrying, but there are still traces of difference in origin. Languages English is the official language of Dominica and is universally spoken and understood. However, because of historic French occupation during different times in history, and the island's location, it lies between the two French-speaking departments of Martinique and Guadeloupe, Antillean Creole, based on French, is spoken by many people on the island. It is particularly used among the older generation, which also speaks a language known as Patois. Because of a decline in its usage by the younger generation, initiatives have been set up in an effort to increase usage and promote this unique part of the nation's history and culture. The dialect of Dominica also includes Cocoy, along with Creole, French-based Patois. Cocoy, or Cocoy, is a mix of Leeward Island English Creole and Dominican Creole. It is mainly spoken in the northeastern villages of Marigot and Wesley. As a result of this admixture of languages and heritage, Dominica is a member of both the English-speaking Commonwealth of Nations and the French-speaking La Francophonie. Religion About 80% of the population is Roman Catholic, though in recent years a number of Protestant churches have been established. There is also a small Muslim community in Dominica, and the nation's first mosque was built recently near Ross University. Largest cities Culture Dominica is home to a wide range of people. Although it was historically occupied by several native tribes, the Arawaks and Kalinoyo Carib tribes occupied it at the time European settlers reached the island. Massacre is the name of a river dedicated to the murders of the native villagers by French and British settlers, because the river ran red with blood for days. Both the French and British tried to claim the island and imported slaves from Africa for labor. The remaining Caribs now live on a 3,700-acre, 15 kilometers 2, territory on the east coast of the island. They elect their own chief. This mix of cultures has produced the current culture. Music and dance are important facets of Dominica's culture. The annual independence celebrations display a variety of traditional song and dance. Since 1997, there have also been weeks of Creole festivals, such as Creole in the Park, and the World Creole Music Festival. Dominica gained prominence on the international music stage when in 1973, Gordon Henderson founded the group Exile One and an original musical genre, which he coined Cadence Lipso. This paved the way for modern Creole music. 
Other musical genres include Jingping and Cadence. Jingping features the accordion and is native to the island. Dominica's music is a melange of Haitian, Afro-Cuban, African and European traditions. Popular artists over the years include Chubby and the Midnight Groovers, Bells Combo, The Gaylords, WCK, and Triple K. The 11th Annual World Creole Music Festival was held in 2007, part of the island's celebration of independence from Great Britain on November 3. A year-long reunion celebration began in January 2008, marking 30 years of independence. Dominica is often seen as a society that is migrating from collectivism to that of individualism. The economy is a developing one that previously depended on agriculture. Signs of collectivism are evident in the small towns and villages which are spread across the island. The famed novelist Jean Rees was born and raised in Dominica. The island is obliquely depicted in her best-known book, Wide Sargasso Sea. Rees's friend, the political activist and writer Phyllis Shand Olfrey, set her 1954 novel, The Orchid House, ISBN 0-8135-2332-X, in Dominica. Walt Disney film Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chess starring Johnny Depp, Cara Knightley and Orlando Bloom, released for general cinema viewing on Friday, July 7, 2006. In its first week it broke all records for box office revenue. This film is the sequel to the first Pirates of the Caribbean film, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Much of the film was shot on location on the small, English-speaking, East Caribbean island of Dominica not to be confused with the Spanish-speaking Dominican Republic, along with some shooting of the third film in the series, At World's End, released on May 2, 2007. Cuisine Dominica's cuisine is similar to that of other Caribbean islands, particularly Trinidad and St. Lucia. Like other Commonwealth Caribbean islands, Dominicans have developed a distinct twist to their cuisine. Breakfast is an important daily meal, typically including salt fish, dried and salted codfish, and bakes, fried dough. Salt fish and bakes are combined for a fast food snack that can be eaten throughout the day. Vendors on Dominica's streets sell these snacks to passers-by, together with fried chicken, fish and fruit and yogurt smoothies. Other breakfast meals include cornmeal porridge, which is made with fine cornmeal or polenta, milk and condensed milk and sugar to sweeten. Traditional British-influenced dishes, such as eggs, bacon and toast, are also popular, as are fried fish and plantains. Common vegetables include plantain, tania, a root vegetable, yam, potato, rice and peas. Meat and poultry typically eaten include chicken, which is very popular, beef, and fish. These are often prepared in stews with onions, carrots, garlic, ginger and herbs like thyme. The vegetables and meat are browned to create a rich dark sauce. Popular meals include rice and peas, brown stewed chicken, stew beef, fried and stewed fish, and many different types of hearty fish broths and soups. These are filled with dumplings, carrots and ground provisions. Education The island has its own state college, formerly named Clifton du Pigny Community College. Some Dominicans attend universities in Cuba on scholarships offered by its government. Others go to the University of the West Indies or to universities in the United Kingdom, the United States, or other countries. Ross University, a medical school, is located at Portsmouth. The Archbold Tropical Research and Education Center, ATREC, a biological field station owned by Clemson University, is located at Springfield Estate between Canefield and Pond Cass. In 2006, All Saints University School of Medicine opened in temporary facilities in Lubia, with a permanent campus being constructed in Grand Bay. Currently All Saints is located in Roseau, Dominica. A marine biology institute in Mahort, ITME, Institute for Tropical Marine Ecology, closed in 2009. Sports Cricket is a popular sport on the island, and Dominica competes in Test cricket as part of the West Indies cricket team. In West Indies domestic first-class cricket, 
Dominica participates as part of the Windward Islands cricket team, although they are often considered a part of the Leeward Islands geographically. This is due to being part of the British Windward Islands colony from 1940 until independence. Its cricket federation remains a part of the Windward Islands Cricket Board of Control. On October 24, 2007, the 8,000-seat Windsor Cricket Stadium was completed with a donation of 33 million East Caribbean dollars, 17 million US dollars, EU 12 million, from the government of the People's Republic of China. During the 2014 Winter Olympics, a husband and wife team of Gary D. Silvestri and Angela Moran D. Silvestri spent $175,000 to register as Dominican citizens and enter the 15 km men's and 10 km women's cross country skiing events, respectively. Angela did not start her race, and Gary pulled out several hundred meters into his race. To date, they are Dominica's only Olympic athletes. Media Dominica has two major newspapers, The Sun and The Chronicle. There are two national television stations and a few radio stations, including stations include, ZBC AM 590, ZGBC AM 740, ZGBC FM 90.7, Portsmouth, ZGBC FM 102.1, Roseau, and ZGBC FM 106.1, Marigot, Q95 FM. The Dominica Broadcasting Corporation, and Cary FM. Before 2004, there was one telecommunication company Cable and Wireless. In 2005, Digicel and a UK based company Orange started to offer service to the island. There are a number of mobile networks operating on the island. Lime and Digicel compete for most of Dominica's wireless customers. Orange shut down in 2010 and is no longer operating on the island of Dominica. Notable Dominicans 